Hey guys, uh, my name is Pedro Lopez. Uh, I created a sports web app. So I know that this might be a little bit rapid fire, kind of running the two minute offense here. So uh, <laughs> if you have any questions later, uh, just let me know. So where did I start? Um, I started with about a year's worth of Python experience. Uh, this is mainly over online resources. Uh, where I kind of just self-taught myself, mostly a, a very functional programming, uh, your classic Jupyter notebooks, Spider notebooks, uh, trying to just process uh, data in small scripts. So uh, that tended to help me a lot at, at my job, but um, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do something a little bit more uh, compartmentalized and, uh, and object-oriented, uh, I guess is the word. So on my way to making this web app, I guess uh, there's two basic frameworks you can really work out of. One was Flask, like we saw before, and then the other one is Django, which is the one that I uh, created the web app with. Flask is a your more lightweight, kind of more flexible framework, while Django is uh, really rigid and allows you to uh, use the same framework in a full stack application, which is pretty nice. So I chose Django because it basically would give me a template and an outline and some structure for a first time web app maker. So what do we need in the web app? First we need is our data. So since I'm really into sports and this is a sports app, I went straight to basketball reference. Uh, I used a nifty little tool called Beautiful Soup. And what Beautiful Soup does is it goes into the HTML code of the website, uh, takes out the tags and scrapes data from uh, basketball reference. So in, in this web app, I, I did both the full Django route and a route with React. Uh, the problem with React is that uh, I wasn't able to use my models uh, straight from the Django app. Uh, I would have to make a REST API that my front end would then consume later. Um, so making a REST framework was fairly easy. Uh, you just do use Django models and uh, Django REST framework and install that on your apps and it helps you out. So this is what my API kind of looked like. Um, and the nifty thing about this is that you can make it queryable. So here we go, Steph Curry. Um, you got all this, his seasonal stats there. And then, uh, since I use an SQL Lite database, I can. I also had an individual page for each individual table. So, like I mentioned, the first thing I did was I made a uh, Django template, or, or used the app fully in Django. And uh, there's a lot of nifty things. You can scroll through uh, your dashboard. Um, you can insert a little bit of JavaScript, which is kind of cool. Um, so it's slightly interactive, but these containers don't really know about each other at all, which is what React does so well. Um, if I fast forward to the React front end, uh, you can pick, like LeBron James is right here, you select him and uh, it pops up and the data populates automatically. All of this data is, is uh, featured dynamically, so you can uh, interact with it. Uh, not quite yet, because I need to learn a little bit more about life cycles properties and state, but the ultimate goal is to be able to just plug in your player, search, boom, his, contracts, uh, his contract stats come up, his uh, life, or his career stats pop up. Um, so yeah, in the future, uh, I, I want to take this to production and make this into a working website. I think it would just be a cool tool for people to use. Um, so there's a couple steps that I have to go along the way to make that happen. Um, so thank you. Uh, before I take any questions, though, I wanted to thank uh, the mentorship staff, uh, my mentor Nick in the back. Um, this was honestly a great experience for me, and I really enjoyed going through it. Thanks. Question. I didn't catch it. Did you say the React app was being served with uh, Django backend or no backend? Yes, so the so the um, the React app is calling a fetch call to my API, so uh, it's taking that a it's consuming that API and then feeding it to the front end app. Okay, and was there just one route in the React app? I was going to ask, how did you delegate routing? Uh, there is only one route, and that is well. There's a couple different fetch calls because 
it's fetching to the actual URL, uh, which comes to the next, probably Zach's uh, question is, what did I ask my mentor was, what is the course protocol? So, <laughs> yeah. One more question. Uh, what's the legality of scraping ESPN's website? <laughs> Um, I did a quick Google and didn't find anything, so... <laughs> <laughs>